What's going on, everybody? Stogie Farts here. If it sounds like uh, somebody's being murdered in the background, they're not. It's I live behind a high school, and there's a bunch of female uh, soccer players warming up. Um, in fact, let me see if I can show you what's going on back there. Well, hopefully with a little uh, video editing magic, I can kind of put a picture in picture so you could see <clears throat> a bunch of girls out there just screaming at their coach. Uh, so that's what I have to hear when I'm trying to enjoy a nice relaxing smoke. Uh, this is my Rex Walden pipe. Uh, Rex Walden is an American pipe maker, he makes some excellent pipes. And uh, inside is some Sleepy Hollow. Um, I think in this video I'm going to talk about a question that I get fairly often, which is anybody that watches my channel for a long time hears me when I talk about pipe smoking, I talk about how I don't inhale. And I get a lot of questions going, you don't inhale, well what's the point of pipe smoking if you don't inhale? Now first off I should say that there's many pipe smokers who do inhale. So it's not like there's a right and a wrong way. There's no uh, guidebook that says, step one, don't inhale. You, you know, when, you, when it comes to smoking, you're an adult, you can do whatever you wanna do. If you find pleasure in inhaling, then you're more than welcome to. But, me, I don't inhale. I just look like I inhale. And the reason being, for one, is inhaling is the worst, or I should say the most unhealthiest part of pipe smoking. I, it's, I think that's pretty much uh, agreed upon, maybe, by everybody. That if you were to, you know, rate, well, what is the most unhealthiest part about pipe smoking, or any smoking in general, it's probably the inhaling part. Now, People ask, again, why, well, what's the point? If you're not inhaling, what's the point? You're not even smoking if you're not inhaling. Disagree. Disagree. Now, when most people think of smoking, they think of cigarettes, okay? And, of course, when you smoke cigarettes, you inhale. That's the point. Cigarettes only last about, what, maybe five minutes? You might get a five-minute cigarette break. So you're inhaling a five minute smoking experience right into your lungs and that tides you over until your next break. And therefore inhaling cigarettes, not only is it addicting, but that is the whole point. You get your fix by inhaling that five minutes of concentrated smoke right into your lungs. A pipe like this can smoke for 45 minutes, maybe an hour, okay? Imagine smoking a cigarette for an hour, an hour-long cigarette. If you inhaled an hour-long cigarette, think of, think of what that's doing to you, okay? So, the point being that you can still get the effects of a pipe, you could still feel relaxed, you can get sick, you can do all the same things without inhaling because you have a longer contact period with the smoke with a pipe. So instead of it being a five minute smoking experience, I have an hour long smoking experience. So for one hour, I am taking the smoke into my mouth, exhaling through my nose, and there is an, basically an hour long contact of smoke which can make me very, very relaxed without it ever having to go into my lungs. So, you know, if you're thinking to yourself, especially a lot of new pipe smokers, you know, well, what's the point? Why would you in why would you smoke and not inhale? Is that isn't that not accomplishing anything? No, it's accomplishing plenty because you are still getting a contact with the smoke through your sinuses, through your mouth, through your nasal cavity, you're still getting that contact, but instead of it being a five minute contact, it's like an hour long contact. So that's the way I justify and that's the way I try and explain it to people who think that smoking a pipe and not inhaling is pointless, it doesn't do anything. Uh, I can tell you it certainly does do something. Not only do I get relaxed, 
but I have gotten sick before, and that's all without inhaling. So, uh, same things with cigars. You know, a lot of guys who smoke cigars don't inhale because it's really, really harsh. But you can still get sick, and you can still get really relaxed, and you can still get mellow, and it's still a very pleasurable experience when you do it correctly, and you don't have to inhale. So, I guess my argument is, why would you subject yourself to inhaling, which is the most unhealthiest part of pipe smoking, when you don't have to? Now, I'm not saying not inhaling is healthy, I'm just saying it is the healthiest way of going about it, if that makes sense. Oh, my arm. All right, switch hands. Hopefully that makes sense. I just want to address that question. I know I've done it before, but you know, when people ask me, well, what's the point of inhaling? What's the point of smoking a pipe if you're not inhaling? You're not even smoking. As in smoking equals inhaling, and that's not true. So. If you inhale your pipe when you smoke it, hey, to each their own. If that's what you want to do, hey, I'm not going to judge you, you know? That's that's your thing. It's just not my thing. And I don't tell people what to do, and I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just letting you know what I do, and that I am proof that you could still get plenty of pleasure out of something without inhaling it. So hopefully that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Peace.